Hey folks, my name is Dweemer, aka Fading Interest, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this daylight detector. So right now it's approaching dawn. Um, I've got a daylight detector, I've got 14 um, glowstone lamps uh, next to 14 redstone, uh, and as the sun uh, comes over the horizon and becomes brighter and brighter, it's going to trigger a signal in the daylight sensor um, uh, that will transmit up the redstone line. The more sunlight is there, the later in the day, um, the more signal gets transmitted down the redstone line, up to uh, probably about 1 p.m. or so, where it drops from its peak at 14 down to 13. So we're going to watch as the sun comes up, and you'll see why in the past I've said I prefer a distance of four redstone uh, from the uh, four steps from the sensor to my redstone torch for my other constructions when I'm doing lighting that turns on and off based on the night in order to make sure the light is on long enough uh, into the dawn so that no uh, no monsters spawn at the tail end of the night and also that it comes on before night has regressed too far uh, to keep everything nice and safely lit. Okay, so dawn's coming on now, and we'll watch it progress. Now you'll see the horizon fading slowly from the orange and yellows of the dawn into the blues of day. When we get to about 8, on the chart here, all of the yellow and oranges should have faded from the horizon and it should be blue in the sky all the way across. We're at 12 right now, we're approaching 14 which is going to be the peak uh, that occurs around 11 and lasts until about 1, roughly. Uh, and once it crosses 1, it should dip back down to 13. You might be wondering why you're hearing a bat squeak. So to the left is a housing roofing project that I built. And bats have been spawning inside the circuitry. Uh, this is creative set on peaceful, and I'm getting bats spawning in my circuitry, so it's a little irritating. All right, we're at full power on the daylight detector. 14 is as far as you're going to get. It's going to proceed from there to about there, and then it's going to dip. So we'll readjust and watch that happen. Tell you what, I'll set it right there, and when I see the first one dip, I'll take a look at where the sun is. Okay, well, this is interesting. Uh, we were at full power, the rain started, and we've lost four points on our light scale. You see that it's dialed back. I'm going to clear the weather and watch what happens. When I clear the weather, the uh, the system acknowledges the fact that the weather's no longer there. The animation of the rain takes a little bit to taper off. So, as soon as I do that, you see it comes right back up, and slowly the animation tapers away, and we're back. Right, there's the first dip. See that we're well past the midpoint and on our way down. We're gonna watch this descend. I was thinking of an interesting idea last night which involved a comparator 
and two light sensors set at different lengths in order to make a light timed lock door. Uh, and I haven't worked out the circuit yet, but I think I might try and build that. It'd be cool. It'd be a door that only opens at a certain between a certain set of hours a day. Now what we should see as we approach the four marker uh, is the lighting uh, from the building to our right kick on, if I've done that correctly. It should kick on at that point. Again, we're under eight, so we're starting to see the orange and yellows on the horizon. And now we're approaching the four marker. And the lights come on. Excellent. Everything's working as intended. So what you can do with this, then, is to design uh, pretty much when you want your um, when you want your lamps to turn on, uh, when you want certain doors to trigger, um, that sort of thing, uh, based on what time of day it is, or how close to uh, dawn, or how close to dusk you are from the light side of it. I know it wasn't probably the most exciting thing to watch, but I hope this gives you a better appreciation for how the light the daylight detector is processing information and transmitting signal down the redstone line thanks mm -hmm.